another episode of me building my dream closet. So for today's video, we're going to talk about the basics. For me, basic pieces are the essential items on your wardrobe. Like, sila yung pinaka foundation when you're trying to build your own style, you're trying to build your own wardrobe. So for today's video, I'm going to feature some of my top picks when it comes to basic pieces. A lot of you guys have been telling me na similar tayo ng style. And if that's the case, then I'll be dropping the links down below as usual so you guys can get these items as well. Okay, so the first few pieces that I'm gonna share with you are from the shop Bayline2019.ph and the first basic piece that I'm gonna show you is a little black dress. So an LBD or a little black dress is quite common in the fashion world. Especially when we're talking about capsule wardrobes or classic pieces, hindi talaga mawawala yung little black dress. And for this video, I got one. So I got this black dress that you can't really see here, but you can see it on the try-on part. Let the try-on part speak for itself because this dress fits me so nicely. Like this is the most nice fitting dress I own. And the reason why I got this dress is because it has this singeing detail all over the body. And yun talaga yung nagpasold sa akin ng dress na to. So this dress is more on the body hugging, tight fitting dresses. And if you're looking for a dress like that, I would suggest you go for something na may singeing effect. I do believe that this dress will fit best to the curvy girls out there kasi you have more bust area, more ass. And I unfortunately do not have that. But if you're more of the Kylie Jenner body type or you're just a thick queen, you better get this dress. Kasi the only issue that I have with this dress is the bust area. Yeah, I don't have enough bust area to fill this dress, girl. There you go. I said it. But I'm planning on altering this na lang. Kasi yung issue lang naman is yung sa bust area. The whole dress itself fits nicely. All in all, I still think that this dress is worth it. And I got this dress for only 331 pesos. And this is the most expensive item that I got in this haul. Also, I got this in the size small or extra small. I'm not sure, but... Um, every time I buy it from Shopee, I always get it in the smallest size possible. So the next basic for me is a good old rib knit top. Ang hirap sabihin na. But this top, you see this all over my hauls. Alam niyo naman na when it comes to quality, I always go for the ribbed type of material. Like the one that I'm wearing right now is in the same material as this one. And there's something talaga about this type of fabric that makes the outfit look more expensive, more good quality kesa dun sa mga plain cotton lang. Ito yung mga type of tops na on the go lang. Like if you're going out, running errands, akala mo naman may errands. But this is the perfect top for that. So if you're looking for just a basic ribbed top, this one I got is for only 195 pesos. Okay, so for the next basic, I got myself another corset top. I know I bought ng isang corset top sa last last choppy haul ko, but I got another one, and this one is more of a basic structure. The thing about corset tops, kung bakit ko siya sinama sa mga basic pieces ko, is all about the fit. When you have a piece of clothing that fits you perfectly, that makes you feel confident, that's your basic piece, girl. And for me, corset top, ever since na nakabili ako ng first corset top ko, I just feel extra confident in it. So I searched for a basic looking corset top that I can use on a daily basis and I found this one. I got this in the apricot color and tinatay lang yung sleeves niya. Actually, yung pinakatay niya is ang tawag dito? Shoelace! Shoelace lang yung pinakat nagtatay sa kanya. And you can get real creative with this. Like, pwede mong i-replace yung straps niya if you want like 
a different type of look. But the reason why I got this is ang ganda ng fit niya. And when I tried it on, again, let the try on part speak for itself. Kasi super na in love ako sa fit niya. And yung bottom part niya, pa triangle yung cut niya. And I feel like that's very flattering for my hips. The back part looks like this one. Tinatay din siya in the back part. And the way that I would wear this is yung pinaka tali niya dito. Hindi ko siya dito i-ribbon. Um, instead, I'm gonna tie it at the back para mas malinis tignan yung front niya. And I would love to pair this with my oversized zip-up jacket. Like, yun talaga yung pinaka unang outfit na envision ko when I got this top. So yeah, I'm very excited. So I got this corset top again in the smallest size and I got this for only 248 pesos. So the last thing that I got from the shop is none other than the most basic piece ever. This is your basic black tank top. So I got this top and actually before I bought this, nagbasa ko ng mga reviews as I always do guys before buying on Shopee. Please read the reviews. Um, ang dami nagsabi na parang swimsuit yung texture nung fabric niya. So medyo nag-alin lang ako sa part na yun. But um, still, binili ko pa rin siya. And when it arrived, it's not bad at all. Like natakot na ako because of the reviews. But when I tried it on, it fits so nicely. I know this is just a basic piece but I'm freaking out kasi ang ganda ng fit niya. Like, ang ganda ng cut niya sa taas. Ito talaga yung legit na basic black tank top na nakikita niyo sa mga model. Like, when I wore this, I felt like an off-duty model or whatever. Basta yun yung vibes na nakuha ko sa kanya. And it's not really an issue na yung fabric niya is not the usual ribbed fabric. Kasi I tried searching for that. Diba yun yung mga overruns na nakikita natin sa Shopee? But kadalasan kasi ng mga overruns sold out. And the fabric is still nice. I feel like this is still pretty worth it. Especially for its price. I got this for only 121 pesos. Okay, so you guys are gonna be really happy. Because for the first time, I'm gonna feature pants. Well, it's not really the first time kasi may nareko na ako sa inyo ng wide neck pants. But these are denim jeans. Okay, so the first thing that I got is this light wash denim jeans. And this is a wide leg type of jeans. And I got this in size 25. And usually my waistline is around 24 to 25. And this one fits me perfectly. Almost perfect. The only issue that I have with this is medyo masikip siya sa tie part. Especially kapag umuupo says like the first time I tried this on, I was like, yes, bitch, you're the one. But then masikip siya kapag umuupo ako. Like, ang weird. Like, ang complicated. Like, gusto mo ba ako? O hindi mo ako gusto? Please tell me na lang. But I don't really know if I'm gonna advise you guys to size up. Natatakot ako mag-advise mag-size up kasi baka perfect sa inyo to. Kung payat ka na lang, if you're petite, petite, then stick with your size. Feeling ko, if makakaupo kayo ng tama dito, you should get it in your size kasi ang dami ko rin nakikita na they got it in their size. But for me lang, talaga masikip siya sa tie part. I'm sorry. My thighs are thick or whatever. <laughs> but not gonna lie, I'm still gonna keep this. I'm still gonna squeeze myself in this jeans kasi ang ganda talaga ng fit niya. So the next pair of jeans that I got is this one and I got this in a size 26 and nag-size up na ako for this one. I know na hindi na siya mag-fit sa waist ko. What I did na lang is naglagay ako ng shoelace sa likod niya. Yun yung natutunan ko sa TikTok. And luckily it works hanggat hindi ko pa siya napapa-alter. Ganun muna yung gagawin ko. Yung fit sa akin ito is more on the baggy type. So if you're into that style, ayun, nag-size up lang ako and then nakuha ko yung effect na yun. And also I got this in the basic blue color. Hindi ako sanay kasi usually yung mga binibili kong jeans, more on the light wash siya. So, ito yung talagang denim blue. Parang denim blue ata to. Um, I'm just gonna leave the variation kung anong color yung nakuha ko for these pants down below in the description box. But, ayan. It also, guys, I, w I just wanna say when it comes to these pants, hindi siya halata na Shopee lang siya. Super neat lang ng itsura niya. Like, Kung titignan nyo from here, parang, para, parang ko siyang binili from Brandy Melville or something. <laughs> I don't really know, but I super, super, nagulat ako talaga dun sa... And also yung quality niya, and also yung quality niya, it's a thick type of denim. Hindi siya yung bumurahing manip 
is na denim. This is actually really worth it once you get it in your size. Like, if hindi ganun kailanganin yung size nyo like me, you guys should definitely buy these jeans. And guess what? I got these for only 278 pesos each. So we're done with the basic jeans. Now let's move on to brillettes. And I know that brillettes have had its time in 2020. Sasama ko lang sila dito sa hall no? because super basic nila for me. Like, almost one year na sa akin to and I still use them every single week. Hindi naman every day, di ba? Nilalaban naman natin, di ba? But, I got these bralettes and the thing about these ones is, I feel like this is the best quality you can get out there. But, this is from the shop Swim underscore shop and madami na ako nabili na bralette actually. Sa buong quarantine, I bought different types, different price ranges and this one is the most expensive one. I got this for 73 pesos each compared to the 30 pesos ones. Mas gusto ko yung type ng pads niya. I really hate it pag nade-deform yung pads, guys. And out of all the bralette tops na nabili ko, ito yung pinakamagandang quality talaga yung pads na kahit we na washing namin to, hindi ko rin tinatanggal yung pads kapag nilalabahan siya because who has the time for that? But I'm really contented with this one kasi magwa one year na siya sa akin pero hindi pa din nade-deform yung pads niya. So, ayun, I don't know if you're quite naiirita with your if you're na ka sa um, bralette mo, switch to these bralettes kasi mas better yung pads niya. Though I'm not sure ha if same quality pa din yung pre produce nila. As well as my other recos. Basta based on my personal experience lang tong mga recos ko guys. So, just saying. Okay, so next pieces. You guys actually already seen this in my last haul. I feel like it's a try on part. But I got this black razor back top and if you're a petite girl again and you're looking for a tight fitting razor back top this is the most perfect one that I would recommend to you mas may recommend pa siya kasi dun sa mga Zara overruns because talaga tight fitting kung tight fitting like I know it's quite hard to find tight fitting clothes for petite girls but this one talagang super super fitted niya sa akin that's also one of the things that I love about this and it also comes in this ribbed material which you know is the bomb we love that and yeah this is also perfect if you're like working out or running or being active like this is perfect i also got this in white but i won't recommend you guys the white one because it's super see-through lang nya and the thing is kapag sinosot mo to mas stretch out siya and pag na stretch out yung white y'all know na maging see-through na yung undergarments niyo so we better go for the black one and i got this for only 90 pesos each okay so last reco for the clothes I'm just quickly gonna share this shorts. Para cycling shorts actually. This is my pambahay shorts. Like, ito lang talaga yung sinasawad ko sa bahay. Kasi super perfect niya. Para lang siyang cycling shorts. Oh my gosh, kasi nabi ko na yun. Basta para lang siyang cycling. The thing that I like about this is, usually kasi kapag nasa bahay ako, laging naka-oversized shirt lang ako. And I feel like this is a perfect pair for those. And I swear, super comfy lang din niya. Meron lang siyang parang band dito sa waist area but hindi siya ganun ka suffocating for me ah um comfortable pa rin ako dito and this is perfect for working out if you're like working out on a daily basis ayan you can definitely grab these another thing about this pala meron siyang parang print na nakasulat doon pero super minimal lang naman ng print na yun hindi mo siya hindi naman siya nakaka-bother ganun so, I actually have three pieces of this shorts. Like, ito lang talaga yung suot ko sa bahay. And I got this for only 89 pesos. Okay, so let's now move on to the accessories part of this haul. Actually, I got a few accessories. And hindi naman sila super like basic accessories that you need. Hindi. Because I feel like accessories are very personal. Accessories would be the personal touch to these basic items. So, I thought I would include the type of accessories that I personally love. So, first, let's talk about how cheap shoppy accessories always rust the moment you use them at least once or twice nag rust agad sila and that's normal for the cheap ones kasi it's not real gold naman and eventually those type of accessories will fade for me personally i don't buy those cheap necklaces and rings from shopee anymore because what's the point of buying them if disposable lang din sila so i've been really picky with my jewelry then and 
feeling ko tinaas din ng talabay ka ng standards ko when it comes to jewelries. But I'm really excited when I found out these rings. Hindi sila yung typical gold material na ginagamit din sa mga cheap rings. They're actually in beads, guys. And I know beads have been a trend recently. Ako nga gusto ko bumili ng beads at talaga. Wala lang akong pera, guys. <laughs> Don't skip ads. But yeah, papakita ko sa inyo isa-isa tong mga rings na binili ko. First, I got these super cute dainty bead rings lang. I got two of these. I got them for 40 pesos each. And what I love about them is super dainty ng itsura niya. And I'm sure na hindi siya mag rust because it's beads, guys. So this is what it looks like. Nilayer ko lang siya on top of my PBK ring. And it's so perfect, you guys. The next ring that I got is this one. And ito naman, meron siyang heart detail sa gitna. Ayan, it looks like this one. I got this one for 53 pesos. The next one that I got is this one. Ito yung favorite ko, guys. Medyo mahal siya. I got this one for 80 pesos. But if you see this in person, you guys, super ganda nung pearls niya. Para siyang totoong pearls. Like, I swear, hindi siya mukhang beads type of pearl. Para siyang tunay na pearls, guys. I am so obsessed with this. Super ganda nila i-layer. Really, the reason why I got them is for layering purposes. Like, para i-layer ko sila on top of my TBK rings. So, this is the last one and I am obsessed. This last one is parang meron siyang stone sa gitna. And ito talaga yung pinaka-inihintay ko. This one is only for 55 pesos, you guys. Super worth it nila. Super dainty na itsura nila. Sobrang cute. Like, if you're gonna buy one item from this haul, definitely these rings, guys. I am obsessed with them. Okay, so throwback to my first ever Shopee haul. Na mention ko tong shop na to don. And it is the shop called BBFIStore.ph. And I went back after a year and I bought some stuff. And actually, ang binibili ko lang don is earrings. And a tip for you guys, if you still can't afford investing in good quality jewelry and accessories, and if gusto niyo talagang bumili ng cheap accessories from Shopee, go for earrings. Kasi mas unlikely sila mag -rust. Kasi hindi naman sila ganun na papawisan. Unlike our necklaces and our rings. And actually, the one that I'm wearing right now, itong hoops na to, this is almost a year na sa akin. And hindi pa rin siya ganun nag -rust. Actually, nag -rust siya ng onte. Hindi ko siya inalagaan. Ito pa yung mga times na hindi ko pa inalagaan yung jewelries ko. But, still, nagagamit ko pa rin siya up until today. And so, I bought a few more earrings. The first thing that I got is this Chanel looking earrings. Actually, hindi naman talaga siya exact copy ng Chanel because I don't like to go for that, you know. Um, para lang siyang inspired by Chanel. Para siyang may dalawang CC but in reality, parang dalawang bilog lang siya na nag crossover. This is just your ordinary vintage looking um, earrings and I got it exactly for that reason. It just looks elegant, it looks sophisticated. I don't want to describe it anymore because I always say classy and dainty dito sa channel na to and I'm trying to um, expand my vocabulary but anyways, I got this and I got this for only 59 pesos. The next thing that I got are these hoop earrings and of course, what's new? They're pearls. Actually, fun fact, some of you guys are messaging me that you started liking pearls because of me. And honestly, get that classy Chanel looking Blair Waldorf aesthetic. Okay, so I also got ear cuffs, and this is the first one. I got this for 69 pesos, and it already includes three pieces inside. It has two ear cuffs and one earring. The earring niya actually is a pearl earring, so I got And this is also on the more dainty, sophisticated looking type of ear cuffs. And this one is a pearl type one. Actually, my pearl din to. Oh my gosh, puro pearls. But this one is more like in your face pearls. Meron din siyang three pieces inside. And this one though, this one is so cute. Ayan. And wala siyang earrings. They're all ear cuffs. So tatlong ear cuffs for only 49 pesos. And also pala, I got these earplugs. Kasi lagi ko nga nawawala yung mga earplugs ko. Yung mga 
pakaw, pakaw sa hikaw. Ayun, lagi ko silang nawawala. So, I got this for only 9 pesos. And it already includes 10 earplugs. Okay, so before I end this haul, I just want to share with you guys the pieces that are sent to me by my cousin's friend, Ate Tin. And I just wanted to help her small business. And a lot of you guys have been asking from my last video. If you haven't watched that video, please give that video some love. But um, you guys have been asking about my top there. And this is the top that I'm wearing. And this is actually sent to me by Collections on IG. And they're the first ever um, shop that sent me PR package. So I'm really, really happy and kilig about that. But yeah, she sent me this top. Nagulat ako dito kasi sobrang cute ng top na to. So this one is just a puff sleeve top na my ribbed fabric siya all over it. And also, meron siya nung cinch detail na you know we love that cinch detail in this channel. And I also love na the cinch detail adds a form to the top itself. This is such a worth it buy, you guys. And this is only for 250 pesos. So, I'm just gonna be linking their Instagram down below. She also sent me this white cardigan. This is an oversized, hindi mo siya oversized, but this one is a long cardigan. You guys know that I love cardigans and this one is para siyang more on the cover up side. I just imagine wearing this on a vacation someday. And you all know that this is not gonna be a princess project haul if I didn't share with you at least one bag. So the bag for this haul is going to be this super super cute jelly bag. And of course, obviously, it looks like your basic Chanel dupe. But actually, this one is one of those famous jelly bags na nakikita ko rin siya all over Shopee. And this is just a small bag that is perfect for my body type. So, if I were to pick out a basic everyday type of bag, I would definitely pick something like this. And not gonna lie, yung pinaka straps niya is sobrang ganda ng quality. Like, mabigat yung straps niya. And when you open it, meron din siyang compartment sa gitna. Ayan, as you can see. And actually, I can fit my phone inside, fit a wallet inside. This is also from Cage.Collections on IG. And this one is for 250 pesos only. So definitely check out that IG shop and support small business. So that is everything for today's haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this month's haul as much as I did filming it. Don't forget to like this video if you want more hauls like this. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on my next one. Bye!